Turn your ear, O Lord, and answer me. Save the servant who trusts in you, my God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you sent Rose of Lima on fire with your love, so that secluded from the world in the austerity of a life of penance, she might, she might give herself to you alone. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession we may tread the path of life on earth and drink at the stream of your delights in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your mind suddenly, or to be alarmed either by a spirit or by an oral statement, or by a letter allegedly from us to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. Let no one deceive you in any way. To this end, he has also called you through our gospel possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught, either by an oral statement or by a letter of ours. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. The word of the Lord. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to the Lord. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! 
You pay tithes of mint and dill and cumin, and have neglected the weightier things of the law, judgment, mercy, and fidelity. But these you should have done without neglecting the others. Blind guides, who strain out the gnat and swallow the camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You cleanse the outside of cup and dish, but inside they are full of plunder and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee, cleanse first the inside of the cup, so that outside may also be clean. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Gospel reminds us to not be like the Pharisees. And it's something that is easy to do, that if we are passionate about something, that we tend to focus all our efforts on that thing, and at that time, neglect the other things around us. And that can happen in the faith, where we focused on one aspect of the faith to say, I'm focused first and foremost about my relationship with God, and then I forget maybe my relationship with my neighbor, or I could be so focused in doing good in my own community that I may forget the good that needs to be done outside of my community or even outside of my country around the world. It's that reminder to say, how can I be able not to neglect those things that may seem small for others but are important to me while maintaining those other things that are the bedmark or the hallmark rather of our faith. How do we continue to live in those ways of judgment, mercy, and fidelity, and especially in that way of love without neglecting all those other aspects that fulfill those but are part and parcel of those as well to say that we aren't, we're doing everything that we can for the Lord. And the real way of doing that is to say, okay, let me go to that, that ground level. Let me go to that foundation. Is this love that I have for God being spread? Is this love for God being the mode by which I do all things? And from that we say, okay, can I then expand that to the other things? Where at times those, in a sense, those taxes on different herbs may not be the benchmark or the bedrock of the faith, but it's still something to say we need to get our due as well, in a sense. But for us, it is that reminder of being in balance, to say I need to make sure I do the important things as well as those things that I may enjoy while maintaining all else. I think it's that universal stru struggle that we all have. But through it all, we rely on the Lord and remind ourselves, is this helping me grow in that love? Is it helping me grow in those virtues? Is it helping me grow as a Christian, as a Catholic in the world? And through that, we can always ask the Lord's help for those decisions and for those ways, trying to maintain the greatest purpose, that singular purpose, relying on God, loving our God, and loving our neighbor. My dear sisters and brothers, Holding fast to what we have received, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. <clears throat> that the baptized may give unfailing witness to the Gospel of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That preachers and teachers may faithfully offer the living tradition, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That citizens and their leaders may not be deceived by promises of glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the weak and vulnerable may be counted among those dearly loved of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the sick may draw strength from God's everlasting encouragement, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for Gertrude and George Gallagher and peace in our world, especially in Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the dead may be judged worthy of life among the apostles, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intentions. Lord, help us be the bearer of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, 
kindness, gentleness, generosity, self-control. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord Christ, for all our needs, all of our Lord, and also These prayers and prayers and sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. God of grace, you strengthen our hearts with every good deed and word. Hear us and nourish us with the gospel of Christ, that we may hold fast to what we have received. Now pray generously to all your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, but be comfortable with us, the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it's your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, but be calm our spiritual with me. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord accept the sacrifice and your hands for the praise of the Lord and His name, for our good and the all of the world's church. O God, who gained for yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, who we sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands, he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Help me pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, to have with Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from sin. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Then not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world and never sins. Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world and never sins. Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world and never sins. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The earth is replete with the fruits of your works, O Lord. You bring forth bread from heaven, from the you bring forth bread from the earth, and wine to cheer the heart. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is be Together, let's pray and hail Mary for things of our church, for our world, and of our community. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Together, let's pray the prayer for our Mother of Mothers. And as a reminder, it's on the front cover of our blue gathering. Mother of the most holy queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, who in your eternity has so sanctified the state, holy mother of imploring thee, I come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by your own power of intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear virgin, for in need I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands, betray not my holy trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid, dear Mother of Mothers. Amen. Mother of Mothers. 